Chanda, over here. Tren, God's protectors, it, it's horrible. What is it, Chanda? What's happening? He's dead, Tren. Uh, our most fearsome warlord. He is dead. I, I took this from one of his royal guards. They're all dead too. But how? It was like the legends. A dark spirit, thirsting for vengeance. It tore through Kai Pang and his men like a scythe. Calm, calm down. Surely, it's, it is just another clan. No. You didn't hear it. It's wicked voice. Through all the blood, all the screaming. It, it laughed. No! He is here. He knows. Chanda, don't. I, I warned you. I told you not to work for them. No. Please. Do you know who I am? You, you, you are Yinko. The, the, the Shadow of Doom. The Shadow of Judgment. Who was this man to you? Mm, my cousin. He, he, he was a good boy. But a weak and reckless man. <laughs> Always too impressed by the wrong kind of people. Ch chasing after money and vice. Crime is a toxic weed. Its bitter fruit yields only sorrow and death. Your honesty serves you well. But now, I have need of your untainted memories. You know of the one I seek. A Westerner, the Warlord's guest. He has lingered here many months. Yes. Few have seen him, but all have felt his presence. He, he held the Warlord, Kai Peng, in some sort of thrall. Subject of his every word. His appetites were enormous, uh, especially for women. Even my sister was forced to serve him. The villagers called him the White Tiger. Where is he? Kai Peng's men escorted himself to the coast, where Kai Peng's smugglers operate many ships. No girl has been summoned for his pleasure since then. I have tracked him across mountains and through jungles. Not even the oceans will sway my justice. New York City. Later, he would explain. The impetus for his returning to America also set off a sort of psychic alarm. An undeniable premonition that the United States would become the nexus for a tidal wave of criminal activity. And my clairvoyance is merely modest, he claimed. It was a plague that his shadow couldn't ignore. Mr. Cranston, I have you down for seven trunks, that right, sir? Yes, police have them delivered to my New Jersey estate. Uh, that's quite a bit of gear, sir. Been abroad for some time, have you? Longer than I have ever imagined. It's not the same as when I left, but then again. X Street! X Street! Stock market crash loses millions! Black Tuesday spreads panic! X Street! Neither am I. Excuse me, sir. Has the Duke of Norfolk disembarked yet? Ah, they gotta check with the head steward for that. But. He ain't too fond of starstruck sightseers, boyo. Say now, <laughs> I'm no tourist. I'm a reporter. And readers love to hear about visiting royalty. It stirs the sense of adventure. All right then, me fine fellas. <laughs> Hope your backs are in strong shape. 
I got these seven trunks going to Lamont Cranston's estate. Gotcha. The address is on the manifest. Cranston? The millionaire and big game hunter? That's even better than a duke. <laughs>